Stephanie Milkey here, a.k.a. Keto Mom, or often called mom, sis, Steffi, daughter, wife, aunt, and friend. Just like many of you, I carry a lot of titles. My favorite title is mom. I should probably say wife, which takes a lot of my time. But let's be honest. If you want to do something and do it well, you will make the time for it. Commitment is hard because we find ourselves overcommitted. But when you practice prioritizing, you will find out what is actually important and what you can let go. With the Keto Mom Podcast, you will learn together how to manage our time, commit to the most important things in life, and I will equip you with the tools you need to feel qualified each step of the way. My name is Stephanie Milkey, and welcome to the Keto Mom Secrets Podcast. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. Welcome. It is lunchtime. We just finished CrossFit. I'm so strong. (laughs) My daughter laughs at me. I am so strong. We're making lunch. Amelia, what are you making? We are making salads. Well, last night we had, um, what did you make? What did you make? What did you make? My husband made, my my hair is a mess, Uh, venison. So we are having venison or chicken salads. We're making lunch. Actually, I'm going to have my protein shake first. So as you're tuning in, I need to know what did you, what are you having for lunch? What are you making for lunch? We're going to talk about a turkey trot challenge that's coming up. I'm going to have my protein because I have a protein shake every time after I work out so that my muscles are big and strong so that the summer when I show you my ripped arms, you're going to be like, oh my goodness, what did you do? And I'm going to say, I did CrossFit and drink ketones. Isn't that funny? It is funny. All right. I do want to know. I ask you for lunch ideas because it gives other people ideas. I shook up my favorite protein because it is super important In general, women, which is like 99.9% of people on here, women don't get enough protein. So you should either be eating your protein, and I like to drink one after I work out. So I'm drinking some protein. I think it's super important for things like muscle growth, for things like your hair. Lots of reasons. Um, We are diving into our afternoon So we are having salads, we have venison, we have chicken. I'm going to be making a salad after I drink this, but I did want to come on to give you a couple tips throughout your day. First of all, uh, I had somebody message me and ask me about kids and keto. So I really do want to touch really quickly on kids and doing this as a family. I had a mom and she was like, can you please touch on like how I get my kids to eat healthy? Because... Let's just be real. If you have teenagers, first of all, and they have social media, and there's just this image that people feel like they have to look like, I want you to help teach your kids how to be healthy and take them along the journey with you. So we'll talk about that real quick. We're going to talk about something called the turkey trot that's coming up that we're doing together. And I also had somebody message me earlier today, and she was like, man, I feel like I failed. I screwed up this morning. I I can't remember what she ate, something. And I said... Just because you had a slip up, whatever that means to you, or let's say that, let's say tomorrow you go to a birthday party and you have a cupcake or you have some cake or you go out with some friends tonight. Just because you either enjoyed yourself because you chose to, or you're like, I gave in to the craving. I have to start over. That's what people say to me. And I'm like, you're just fine. Like you have an awareness, you made a choice either out of cravings or because you wanted to, and it's okay. You get back on track and you keep going. Just because you had one day where you didn't follow your routine or one meal that didn't line up with your specific goals, whatever that case, it doesn't wreck everything that you did. It doesn't ruin everything. You just get to go, oh, now I feel like garbage, right? Because if you eat something, if you've been eating healthy, whatever your version of healthy is, if you've been drinking your water and moving your body and feeling great, and then you decide to eat a whole pizza, or you decide to eat cupcakes, you decide to have too many drinks tonight, like whatever it is, your body's going to tell you, hey, excuse me, hi, me, it's me. I feel like garbage. And that's the repercussions of maybe not eating great. It doesn't wreck everything that you've done for the last weeks or months or years. It's one of those things where you're like, I should remember next time that I actually hate feeling like this. So please hear me when I say this. The only way you fail, you should hear this by now because I say it all the time. The only way you fail is if you quit. 
See, my kids know. The only way you fail is if you quit. Now, here's what I will tell you. My hair is really bothering me. I will tell you this. If you get to the birthday party and you choose to eat a certain way and this weekend you have a lot of fun and then you're like, Monday comes and then you don't get back, you don't get back on track on Monday and then Tuesday and then all of a sudden you're like, I'll start next week, I'll start December 1st, okay, I'm just going to wait till January, then you kind of quit. You, you quit. That to me is quitting. And then you think you're going to restart in January where if you give in for the next 60 days, it is going to be really hard to get back on track, right? So the only way you fail is if you quit. If you enjoy yourself, take note of how you feel and remind yourself next time or just enjoy yourself and get back on track. It did not wreck everything. Now, here's, oh, actually do you want to talk about kids real quick and we'll talk about the turkey trot. Um, how's it going, everybody? Thanks for sharing your, I would do want to know what you're having for lunch. Hold on. When I drink a protein shake, I just throw in some water. My, thing, my kids think it's gross. I think it's great. They like to blend it with berries. All right, um, kids, I'll talk about that in a second because it's longer because I do have a lot of thought. I do have lots of things to say about kids and eating healthy and teenagers because I feel like it's a long conversation. So really quick, we're doing something called the turkey trot. Nope, the turkey trim challenge. Here's what it looks like. I've been talking about in my personal customer group, we talk about drinking ketones, right? Here's what we're going to be doing. On November 13th, we're going to do something called a 24-hour fast. And so it's a kit. You're going to stop. You're going to eat an early dinner, 3 or 4 o'clock on the 13th, and you're going to go to the following day, and you're going to – we just have 24 hours, but you actually eat in both days. So you stop. You have an early dinner. Go to the following dinner. You drink everything in the kit. So you have your ketones, electrolytes, your broth, all right? So on the 13th, we're going to do the 24-hour fast together. It's 24 hours. I'm going to walk you through it. After this, for the next 10 days, starting on the 14th, we are going to do the 10-day challenge. We're going to eat low-carb meals. If you want to intermittent fast, I'll walk you through that. You're going to drink water, move your body the best you can. Some of you do CrossFit like me. Some of you go to your own gym. Some of you like to do something like yoga. Some of you like to go for a walk. It doesn't matter. The point is moving your body, low-carb meals, drinking the ketones. We're going to do that for 10 days. Then you are going to, if you're in the United States, you're going to enjoy your Thanksgiving, whatever that means to you. Some of you might have, like, I'm going to eat whatever I want Thanksgiving. Some of you might be more of a low carb. I don't care what you do. You're going to have a great time with your family, and it might stagger for you. This is a guide, and I'm going to help you. But it comes in a kit. So if you want to know more about the turkey trim, and you're going to be plugged into a group, we're going to do it together on a calendar set of course, if you have other days that come into play, I will help you work through those days. If you want to know more about the turkey trim, I want you to post turkey below. Just comment turkey. And then on October 27th, after Thanksgiving, after you may have eaten the pumpkin pie or the apple pie or the potatoes and gravy, whatever you decide to have, we are going to do a, it's called a community reboot. Like thousands of us are going to do the reboot together. It's 60 hours. It has in the kit, we have ketones, we have your lunch and dinner as your broths, we have the electrolytes, like this is the kit. We have a fun little sale, and we're going to do it all together. If there are days that you're like, hey, my schedule looks like this, I will walk you through your own schedule. But in general, we have a schedule, we have accountability groups, and my personal customer group, we're going to do prizes. And so if you want to join us, for this, if you want to do it with a friend or a neighbor or a coworker or your mom or your sister, post turkey below. I'm just going to send you the information and then you can join me because it's going to be so great. Because here's what we're going to do. We're going to stay focused. We might enjoy ourselves on the actual holiday or the day that you're getting together with your family or friends, but you do not need to be snacking and all that candy from the 31st of October until the 1st of January, which a lot of people do. So put the candy away, get your drawer done, like dump that candy out, get the candy off your counter, out of sight, out of mind. We are going to be healthy and strong and feel good and focused. And then you're going to enjoy yourself on those couple days because one day doesn't wreck every day. One day is like, hey, I'm going to enjoy myself and then I'm going to get back on track. So the turkey trim, which I think is cool, is a great way to keep yourself on track even during Thanksgiving. On Thanksgiving Day, 
which we are hosting, I'm going to get up in the morning and drink my ketones because I feel great. While a lot of people want fat loss, this for me is energy. This for me turns my brain on. I actually did an interview yesterday, last night, with Dr. Ryan Lowry. So a couple weeks ago, I got to interview Dr. Andy, who really, really, really is an incredible doctor for women in hormones and ketones. If you are a woman and you want to hear from an incredible doctor about ketones and what they do, you should post Dr. Andy below, right? A-N-D-I. I I also did an interview yesterday with Dr. Ryan Lowry. He's one of the, he is one of the authors from the ketogenic Bible. He helped formulate this product. He runs uh, with some of his very good friends and coworkers and scientists and doctors, something called ASPI Labs in Tampa, Florida. He works with professional athletes using ketones and their brain, using ketones for their muscle. So if you want to know more about what uh, Dr. Ryan would recommend them, just post Dr. Ryan below. All right, Dr. Ryan, Dr. Andy, I'll send, if you... Or if you just want to see both interviews, whatever you want to post, I don't care. Just ask below and I'll send you an interview to watch because they're great. Otherwise, just ask me because you can do this with us in the community. It's going to be great. All right. Does that make sense? Does this turkey trim make sense? Reach out with questions. Send me a message. It's going to be incredible. It's going to be fun prizes. I'm going to give away ketones and shaker cups. We're giving away some of these things for prizes. And so it's going to be great. Hey, lastly... One of the things I want to talk about, I should probably make sure. um, Yes. All right. William and Rose want Dr. Ryan and Dr. Andy. See, I will send you the interviews. It'll be great because it's going to help you stay focused or it's going to give you some more information from a doctor's point of view, not just my point of view. I say I'm a mom and I've learned a lot of things over the last seven and a half years. I actually could repeat a lot of scientific or doctor things around ketones, but I don't have to because they do it for me. So lastly, Kids and a healthy lifestyle. I had a mom say, can you please help me with this? And here's what I would, how I would explain it to you. Your kids, not just your kids, but I would say people's kids. I, I don't remember my mom ever actually being on a diet, but if she ever, I've, I think I often would hear moms, not just, not my mom specifically, but I would hear more of verbiage towards like friends' moms or other women saying, oh, I'm fat. I don't like how I look. Oh, I have nothing to wear. Or if they were eating a salad, they'd be like, I'm on a diet. I don't like to be on a diet. I can't eat that. I'm on a diet, right? That's what women say. Men, not just men, but women. Some men do, mostly women. I'm on a diet. So let me ask you this. When your kids are watching you and they're and you're eating your salad and you're like, I'm on a diet, what do you think your kids are thinking? Your kids are thinking, oh my goodness, mom's on a diet and she eats that food. I'm not going to eat that food. Ew, mom's on a diet, right? So here's what I want you to think about as you are, I knew you were videotaping me. My daughter likes to catch my most (laughs) glorious faces and then she puts them all together on my birthday, which is coming up my 40th in February. And she'll put the most amazing collage together of the most beautiful faces that I make in my entire year. And then she'll make me look so amazing. We will all have that to look forward to. Now, think about this. When you are going on a journey, a health journey, I want you to watch your words. Number one, as a parent, if you have children, you don't need to be saying you're fat. You don't even need to be on a diet. You are on a health journey to feel better, to look better. You can say like, listen, I actually do want to lose some weight, but I want to lose some weight because I want to be able to walk further, not be out of breath, to be able to play with, like play sports with you, to be able to go for a walk with you. Like tell them why you want to be healthy, right? And then take them along the journey with you. Hey, so when we started doing this, when we actually had ketones introduced to us and my husband was on a diet, just kidding, but my husband wanted some fat loss. And what we did is we told the girls, we are all eating healthy. We all need to eat healthy because our bodies are important, right? They're our temple right? If you know what that means, like it is your temple and you should take care of it. So we would say, we are all going to try a new vegetable this week. Hey, we're all going to try something new. Let's try a salad. Let's try some broccoli. Let's try some. And we figured out what we liked and didn't like, and we all had to try it. I'm the pickiest eater out of everybody in our family, all of our kids, me, right? So I really just want you to be mindful 
And I want you to go, I want you to do the journey with me. I want you to help me and support me. I will help you because maybe they're in sports. Maybe they want to feel better. Maybe they eat too much sugar. And you're like, we do not need the sugar in our home. We don't. There's enough at grandma's. There's enough other places. Sure, the dentist office has cookies. Like, hey, why don't we maybe choose one day where we have a treat? We do not need a treat every single night. Steve and I, my husband and I, when we first got married, I would make cakes at least three a week because we felt like after every meal, Steve, do you remember this? I would make a yellow cake with chocolate frosting or we would eat Debbie snacks like they were going out of style because every single meal that we ate, we felt like we needed a dessert. And so one thing you could do is just take away the dessert after every meal. There's no reason for it. There isn't. Like my daughter was like, can I have some ice cream today after CrossFit? I was like, no, you don't need any ice cream. I said, tomorrow, Saturday, we're going to be going out and about. We're going to be going shopping. You can probably get a treat then, right? We don't have any ice cream in our freezer. I'm not going to get her ice cream while we're driving around. Nope, we're not going to do it. Do you need it? No. How about we get a treat tomorrow? All right. So it's not that they can't have something, but I also want you to help teach them and the power of sugar. Like sugar makes you up and then you crash. And, uh, and then this. So if you just openly explain to your kids why you're trying to be healthier, how they could do the same, it helps with their sports. It helps them feel better. Uh, it helps with their learning. Some of these kids are going to school and they eat breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, and everything is full of sugar. Like some of these breakfasts that I've been seeing these kids having, no wonder kids can't sit in school because their brain is going crazy because they're all sugared up all day long, all day long. So be mindful. That's what I would say. You don't need to say they need to be on a diet. Even if you have middle age or teenage kids who have, I have parents that ask me that reach out and go, I need to help my daughter. She's 14, 15, 16. She's not comfortable the way she is. I get it. We had a friend and her 14 year old daughter lost 30 pounds and she is doing incredible. You guys, she's 13. We helped her make better choices. She didn't do anything crazy. It is not a diet. She's dropped the sugar. She's drinking more water. She's moving her body. Like to say there isn't a pandemic in this world of a weight issue in teenagers, like Dr. Ryan Lowry in the interview that I talked to him last night, he said it. He was like, we are completely unhealthy and we need to teach our kids now. So if you can teach your kids like, hey, Sometimes you might find your kids going to the refrigerator and just like mindlessly eating, right? It's easy if you keep sugar on the counter, cookies and the candy jar, like it's easy to walk by and grab one and grab one. You don't need that. So start by your home, making it more of like visual of putting things away, less snacking. If your kids are constantly in your cupboard, say, are you hungry or are you bored? Are you hungry? You just ate, right? Always encourage them to have a water bottle with them. Like, hey, why don't you drink some water? We'll come back and have a snack. Have some healthy snacks in the refrigerator, some pickles or hard boiled eggs or cheese sticks or beef sticks. Give them some better options. This isn't about losing fat or being fat. This is if you can teach your kids these healthy habits now, they're going to go into adulthood, being able to understand and listen to their body, make better choices, drink their water. So they're not starting where you are. That's it. That's it. So I have helped quite a lot of teenagers like understand those concepts and creating healthy habits. If you, if you want to send me a message, I would love to help and give you some ideas. Otherwise, thank you for tuning in. I truly appreciate it. Uh, there's a lot of fun things going on. So I'm going to go drink my protein, eat my salad, finish homeschooling our girls. I have a lot of people who are asking about the turkey trot. So I'm going to send you some messages. This is a great deal for the next couple days. We'll be starting this together. So if you want to join us for the turkey trim challenge, just post turkey below. Otherwise, send me a message. I'm here to help. I hope you guys have an incredible afternoon, and we will talk to you very soon. Bye.